everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Tiffany Garcia and I'm a librarian at the San Jose Public Library. Today we will be making some Star Wars crafts in honor of May the 4th Day. For this activity, you will need a piece of paper, some tape, or a glue stick will be good, um, a paper bag, a sharpie, a black sharpie, or you can use a black marker, uh, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. If you have some googly eyes, go ahead and pull those out. You will need two. If you don't have googly eyes, you can draw them in. That's okay. Using your pencil, you will now draw Chewbacca's face. First, start off with his hair, just to give you an idea on where it is you're going to be cutting. Right now, you see me doing a draft. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're not going to be cutting each nook and crannies, just to give you an idea as to where you'll be cutting. Now I'll be cutting his face line. As you see, I'm trying to make hair-like uh, strands here, cutting like little triangles in a way. It's a little difficult here. But right now, let's just cut a line, and then I come back to it and try to make little triangle cuts to make it look like his hair. Here I'm realizing that you can fold the bag a little bit so that you can get real good sized triangles here to make it look like hair. So I'm going to be doing this side first and then I'm going to go back to the other side to fix it. Now I'm going to get my Sharpie and start drawing around some hair. While I have some cuts made, I think adding a Sharpie will make it even better to really stand out. The top of his head seems to be more straight than the rest of his face. His hair is a little wavy on the bottom where his beard is. Now draw his nose. And don't forget his mouth. Now I'm going to grab my pencil and start drawing his eyes. Now it's more of the shadow of his eyes I'm going to be doing first because he has like shadows around his eyes. Now 
Now, if you have googly eyes, this is the time to insert them. See how it's going to look? Now I'm getting my glue stick as I see tape will not do and adding some glue onto the googly eyes. And maybe you actually want to add some more shadow. Now that I see it's better with more shadow around the eye. If you don't have googly eyes though, you can draw it in. See how it works? You can also use your permanent marker. But since I have my other googly eye, I'm going to go ahead and glue it and put it on. And this is how it will look. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some more shadow now that I see that it looks much better with more shadow around his eyes. Now you're going to get your white piece of paper. Here I'm estimating as to which side to use, but as you see the short side will do to make a band around him. I'm folding over a little strip here because that's what I'll be cutting off. And this is the strip that I'll be using to put around his body. See here how it nicely folds over around. Now that I know where it will wrap around, I'll pull it off and start making the line marks of his body belt. Worried about bleeding through the paper, I'm going to grab just any extra sheet of paper, like this green one here, just to have underneath. As you see, some marking spots are going onto the green sheet. I'm starting off by making horizontal lines, leaving a little space in between. As I'm getting to the top, you'll notice that I don't make an entire line across only because it's going to be folded over. Same thing for the bottom as well too. Now that I've done that, I'm going to make one vertical line going from the bottom to the top, straight in the middle. Now that I've done it, I'm going to put it onto the paper bag, wrap it around as you see goes on very well. And so now I'm going to add some glue to the back of the belt. And put it on around Chewbacca. Putting the ends of his belt around the first flap, I can now use it as a puppet if I wish to. And that is how you make a Chewbacca paper bag. For this activity, you will need a paper plate, preferably one with no graphics, but it's okay if you do. Uh, just make sure to use the back. It will be covered anyways. See, this side will be white and plain. Then you'll need a black Sharpie, preferably one that's fine point, and aluminum foil. With your piece of aluminum foil that will be covering over the plate, you will use the bland side, the side that's not so shiny. So position it in the center and start pushing down. Try to shape it. Try to prevent having so many wrinkles. It's okay if you have a little bit, but try not to have so many. And then start folding gently under. Keep doing this all around the plate.
Now that that's done, you're going to start drawing the Death Star. Now you can make a circle using the end of the paper towel roll, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do this by hand. Try to make a perfect circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make it as close to a circle as possible. You can view the Death Star templates online, or you can just go ahead and follow my lead here in this video. I am pretty much uh, just drawing a simple Death Star. I am drawing two circles, one inside of the other. Realizing that I just made them too thin, I'm making it thicker. Now I'm making another circle inside, but keeping a space. And now I'm going to draw vertical lines all the way around, making sure to leave enough space in between, kind of like a star in a way. Now draw another tiny circle inside and a lot more of the vertical lines inside that circle. So now you should have a total of four circles. Now to make the band, I'm going to use this piece of paper. It's just a scratch paper just to help me make a straight line. You can use a ruler, but I probably wouldn't use a ruler with a permanent marker, so I'm just going to use a scratch piece of paper to help me gu guide me to make a straight line. And now I'm going to add another line underneath it. So there should be two lines having a little space in between them. And now I'm going to add the shapes that are on the Death Star, the extra shapes that are there. Kind of like box looking sort of shapes. But as it is like a globe, you need to put them in an angle. They're not going to be perfectly straight.
And now we are finished with our Death Star paper plate. For this activity, you will need a pair of scissors, a Sharpie, any Sharpie will do, uh, but um, make sure that it's black. It could be a, a uh, fine point, or it can be uh, thick, or it can be a thin point. Any will do. And uh, some tape. I have this kind of tape, but you can use a thinner tape or um, some masking tape. Uh, but this is the one I choose, and uh, preferably one that's clear. But you can also color it in masking tape. Uh, a piece of construction paper. I chose red as uh, my lightsaber. Uh, you can choose to uh, have a green one, so you will need green uh, construction paper. If you don't have color paper, you can get some white paper and paint it to, uh, to the color you want. Uh, you need one uh, paper towel roll and some aluminum foil. Um, this will be part of the handle. Right. Next will be the instructions. So I'm going to get a piece of tape here. You're going to leave a little bit of construction paper on the top here so you don't see the paper towel roll. Roll it. Continue to roll. Get to the end here. Here you should tape it down below over here where the handle is going to be so you don't see this part here. For this part um, you can add a little bit of tape. What I'm going to do is roll it a little bit and then hide it underneath so you don't see it. I think I want the shiny side out. I'm going to, actually, what I'm first going to do make sure it lines up here and press down so that you can have a even end. And do the same thing on the other side here. So it's nice and even. And will look nicely cut looking. Looks pretty even. And now I'm going to wrap the aluminum foil around my red construction paper roll. I'm going to start from this side as I notice that this side's a little bit smaller than the other side. So gently try to smooth it all out. Roll it, roll it. Now I'm going to get my tape and get some pieces of it. One piece of the tape is going to be going on the outside only halfway and then it will go over it, the edge, and go inside. So it stays in place there. And grab one more piece of tape. Just a tiny piece. and put it top part of the handle halfway on the construction paper and halfway on the aluminum foil. Now getting your permanent marker, you're going to start drawing the handle parts. I'm going to start on the tape side and draw a line on the bottom edge of the handle all the way around. I'm going to 
go around again to make this thicker. You can go online to view templates of lightsaber handles to see what they look like, or you can copy me in this video. Now I'm going to start drawing some square buttons. Adding more buttons down, going down the handle. And now I'm going to draw another uh, band around the handle, all the way around. And I'm going to color it in. And now I'm going to draw some circular buttons on the side here. And some rectangle buttons as well. To fill in this empty space on the back, I'm just going to add one more square button. Remember that Sharpies will dry very fast, so you should be able to handle your lightsaber as soon as you're done. I think that looks good. If you want to, you can add more, uh, whether it's more buttons or something else on the handles. But I think that is it. And here is my lightsaber. For this activity, you will need a pair of scissors, some tape, any tape will do, uh, two pieces of uh, green construction paper. If you don't have green construction paper, you can use another color. It's okay. And you'll need a pencil and one Sharpie or a black. Marker. Now what we're going to do is draw Yoda's ear, but before you do, you will make sure to add a little extra in the front so that it will be the part where you bend and glue or tape the Yoda's ear onto the headband. So remember, I'm just drawing one ear. So I'm going to keep the one ear on top of the other one so that now I'm going to get my pair of scissors and start cutting them out. So when I'm cutting these sheets together, I'm going to get two ears.
Now you may see some pencil lines. It's okay. I just decided to make this a little bit thicker, the ear, not so thin. It's okay to have some pencil marks left behind. Keeping both my ears together, I'm going to just fold a little flap on the left side where I said I will need to uh, tape or glue them onto the headband. So I'm going to fold just a little flap there. Setting one ear aside, I'm going to keep one in my hands to flap, to uh, move the flap the opposite way so that when I tape the ears on the headband, they're going to be going in opposite directions. With what's left of my green sheet, I'm going to um, fold a headband um, about, uh, let's say about two inches, just estimation as to where it will meet the ears flap. So whatever uh, width you need for that. So as you see, I'm measuring it by using the ears flap. I'm going to use my pencil to mark it. Now I'm going to fold based on the line made. And now using my scissors, I'm going to go ahead and cut these strips out. So I'm going to be getting two strips out of this because there's two sheets. Now I'm going to get a piece of tape and put two ends together, just a little bit overlapping one end. Tape it down on the bottom halfway so that you can flip the tape over to the opposite side of the band and get another piece of tape and put it on the bottom side and flip it over again too so that both sides have a tape on the top and bottom of the band. Before you tape the other ends of the headband, you will need to put it around yourself and see how well it fits to make sure you don't tape it together too tightly or too loosely. You wanna make sure it fits properly on your head. Now that we have a headband properly taped together, adding this last one again halfway on one side and then halfway on the other side now that we have a headband we're going to be putting the ears on I do recommend taping them on to where the creases are of the headband so that you won't even notice the uh, taped parts again getting another piece of tape going to be taping the flap on on the back to the headband halfway on the flap and halfway on the band on the front side and then on to the inside just getting a little more tape so I get the bottom part of it as well too, so it won't be flapping around. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side and make sure both ears are pointed towards upwards and not one side going downwards while the other one is going upwards.
Noticing that the ear is going a little forwards, I'm going to just press it again a little bit, the crease of the flap, just to make sure it doesn't go too forward, the ear. We don't want it to be pointing forward. We want it to be going to the side. Now that we have the main part of Yoda's ears done, we can go ahead and draw in some of the ear creases that Yoda has. Using my Sharpie, I'm going to draw Yoda's ears inside and just a little bit of creases and the same thing on the opposite side showing a curve in his ear and then the creases inside just to show it's going inwards. And now you have Yoda's ears. You are all set, but you can add additional designs if you like. Thank you for joining me and the San Jose Public Library. Please take a few minutes to fill out our program survey. For a complete list of other virtual programs, please visit sjpl.org forward slash virtual programs. Also, don't forget to follow us at, at San Jose Library on Facebook and sign up for their newsletter at sjpl.org forward slash e-newsletter to stay informed of all things SJPL. Have a great day.